Hi, welcome to the statics tutorials. So with this problem, we have a 3D rigid body equilibrium. We have uh, these three journal bearings, and we need to find out the reactions in the journal bearings. Uh, so this rod has this journal bearing here at A, and the, this part of the rod goes along the x-axis. Then it takes a 90 degree bend and goes parallel to the y-axis and goes through this journal bearing here at B. It goes a little bit past that journal bearing at B, takes another 90 degree bend, goes straight up in the Z direction, and goes through this last journal bearing here at C. We have a applied load of 200 newtons uh, in the positive Z direction here, and 300 newtons in the positive X direction. So drawing our free body diagram, we have our rod here. Uh, for our journal bearing at A, we can translate the rod through the bearing in the X direction. Remember that journal bearings don't exert a thrust on the shaft. So there's nothing to prevent the shaft from going through the bearing in X. Uh, but we will have an AY and an AZ. We can't shift the rod in the Y direction without getting resistance from the journal bearing. And we can't try to shift the rod in the Z direction. The journal bearing will resist that. So AY and AZ. We have our applied load here, 200 newtons in the positive Z direction. And then we have our journal bearing at C. Again, the rod's going to be able to translate through. And so there's not going to be a BY reaction. But we can't pull the rod in the X direction without a reaction. And we can't pull the rod up in the Z direction without a reaction. So we have BX and BZ. Uh, we have our 300 newton force here at the bend going in the positive X. And then at C, uh, the rod will be able to translate freely through the journal bearing in the Z direction, but we're not going to be able to move the rod in the Y direction or the X direction. So we have a CX and a CY for those reactions. So we want to solve for those six unknowns. You'll also remember that journal bearings can create a moment reaction. Uh, so if we try to twist the rod around C, that bearing can resist that with a reaction moment. However, the way we have this supported, we're going to have six equations and six unknowns. Uh, we have enough unknowns just with the uh, X and Y forces here. We don't need to include the moments. The bearings uh, are sufficient to be able to not have to support a, a moment. And so we, we don't want the bearings to support a moment. It's going to cause bearing wear if you design a system where it's always having to support a moment. We have enough equations to be able to solve this one, so we're not including those moments. We want them to be zero. Going through and solving this, we have sum of forces in the x direction. So we have Cx, Bx, and then the 300 Newton force uh, all going in the positive x direction, so it's equal to zero. We have uh, sum of forces in the y direction. We have AY and CY both going in the positive y direction, so they must sum to zero. And then sum of forces in the z direction, we have AZ, uh, 200 newtons here, and then also BZ all going in the positive z direction, so they must all cancel each other out, and that sum is zero. Then we need to do our sum of the moments. So we're going to do our sum of the moments about each of the axes. So we have our x-axis here, or in our free body diagram, our x-axis is here. So doing sum of moments about the x-axis, AY and AZ go through the x-axis and create no moment. The 200 Newton goes through the x-axis and creates no moment. For our other forces, if we have a moment about x, we're going to be looking at Y forces times Z distances or at Z forces times Y distances. So let's look at this BZ. We have this 0.75 uh, meters back over to the X axis that's going in the Y direction. So we'll do BZ times that 0.75 meters. Looking at the direction, if we're spinning it around in this direction due to the moment, our fingers pointing in the positive x direction with the right hand rule. So that's going to be a positive moment. Uh, this x force can't create a moment about the x axis. Uh, this x force can't create a moment about the x axis. And then for cy, it needs just a z distance. So when we look at this, we see the z distance uh, is going to be 0.5 meters. 
and then thinking through this one, CY is up over the x-axis, so it's going to create a negative moment. So it's going to be minus CY times 0.5 meters. CX can't create a moment around the x-axis because it's in the x direction. Then we'll do our sum of moments about the y-axis. So our y-axis is here, or back over here in our free body diagram. Again, nothing out of A since AY and AZ go through that y-axis. But we do have our 200 now. It's a, we're looking at a y moment. We have a z force, so we need an x distance. That x distance back over there is at 0.5, so 200 times 0.5. It's going to create a negative moment around the y-axis. Uh, we have BZ, so BZ times an x distance. Our x distance is going to be that uh, 0.5 here. BZ is going to also create a negative moment around the y-axis. And then we have uh, CX, so we're going to need a z distance for CX, and that z distance is our 0.5 here and that creates a positive moment around the y-axis. See why I can't create a moment around the y-axis because it's a force in y. The 300 Newton force, if we extend it back, it goes up through the y-axis, so it has a zero perpendicular distance to the y, so it can't create a moment about y. Bx is the same thing. If we extend it back, it's going to cut through that y-axis, so its perpendicular distance is zero. Uh, doing the last one is the moment about Z. So our Z axis is here uh, from point A going up. So when we do a moment about Z, we're going to look at X forces times Y distances and Y forces times X distances. So we have uh, BX here times our Y distance of 0.75 uh, meters back over to the uh, Z axis. When you look at that, you might think, wow, I don't see how that's a distance back over to the, the y-axis. But remember that Bx uh, has this line of action. And so if we just extend Bx along its line of action, it really is going to be that 0.75 uh, meter distance in the y direction back to the z-axis. Uh, with Bx, it's going to create a negative moment around y. Uh, BZ is a force in Z, so no moment created by it. 200 is a force in Z, so no moment in Z created by it. Uh, and then we have CX. So CX needs a Y distance. So let's take a look. We've got our Y distance going back over to the Z axis. So for CX, it's going to be the 0.75 plus the 0.25. Remember, CX has this line of action here. And so it's that one meter going back over to the y-axis, sorry, the z-axis, uh, that's our perpendicular distance. And then we have cy, uh, force in y, we need a distance in x, uh, and so their distance in x is our 0.5 meters here. cx gives us a negative moment around z, cy is going to give us a positive moment around z. Uh, at this point, you've got six equations and six unknowns. Um, so it, it really does take quite a bit of paper to go through and solve it with substitution. Uh, but if you want to give it a shot going through and solving it with substitution, I would say start uh, with your two easiest equations. So your AY plus CY is equal to zero. And uh, just relate the uh, one unknown to the other. So say AY is equal to negative CY. And then over here, we have our next easiest equation. And so relate this, BZ is equal to the coefficient in front of CY. Uh, and then go through and eliminate BZ and AY out of all the remaining equations. And then take a look at your next easiest equations and try and eliminate another variable and your next set and eliminate another variable. But it really does take quite a while to go through and solve these with substitution. Uh, it may be a good opportunity to take a look at your calculator in solving systems of linear equations, or uh, if you don't have a calculator that can do systems of linear equations, if you just Google it, you can find lots of online equation solvers where you just type in the coefficients into a matrix and it'll solve it for you. Uh, so both online and then also by substitution, I was able to get these answers. 
So I got AY is negative uh, 375 newtons, AZ is negative 450, BX is negative 750, BZ is 250 newtons, CX is 450, uh, and CY is 275. But I need about five board spaces to go through and show you all the, the algebra. Thanks for watching.